Adobe has a well-known piece of software that's useful for importing, archiving, cataloging, and even editing photos and quite possibly even videos called Adobe Lightroom. But did you know Sony, the people that gave us Mavicas, Handycams, and Vio laptops actually created their own version of Lightroom? Or at the very least, the next best thing to it. And that particular piece of software was called Picture Motion Browser. This software, despite being rather mundane and easy to forget, was quite useful to a number of people for importing, archiving, and just for general purpose uh, keeping track of their media files. A lot of people used this software when it was still available, and it was actually EOL'd by Sony in 2014 and subsequently replaced by what many would argue is an inferior version referred to as Play Memories Home. And while it would be a bit of an overstatement in saying that I've been on the hunt for the software for a little while now because I really haven't, I've wanted to obtain it, I've wanted to try it out, but it's not been something that's top of my to-do list and list of priorities, it came as a rather pleasant surprise to me when I found somebody selling a bag of parts or accessories for a Sony HDV consumer handycam that came with not just a bunch of wires, cables, remotes, instruction manuals, and things like that, but also two discs that are, well, rather difficult to obtain. The one that's green is titled Let's Enjoy Video, and it is a very stereotypical 2007 instructional walkthrough style video. Hello everyone! You are probably thinking about taking your new Handycam camcorder on your next trip like this couple. Of course you are! It's exciting and fun to watch the video of your trip when you get home. Impression of the subject as well. I mean there's a lot of parts of this where it's just really <laughs> awkward to watch. Whether you shoot from above or below well, I guess this did the trick in 07. The second blue sleeve is of course what I was more focused on obtaining. It includes the software that's very nearly unobtainium at this point in 2023. Picture Motion Browser version 2.0.02. And since I don't have any computers still running Windows XP and definitely not running Windows 2000 Professional, the next best thing is my Dell Latitude. And the fact that it's an older laptop means that it actually has a four pin firewire connection that I could use to connect up to my Handycam. So for demonstration's sake, I have this uh, 2007 Sony HDV Handycam connected, both with USB for accessing the photos taken on the Memory Stick Pro Duo card. This camcorder cannot take videos to the Memory Stick card. And I also have its FireWire connection connected to the FireWire port on my laptop using, what you know it, a genuine Sony iLink cable. Now if I wanted to import pictures off the memory stick on this USB selection menu I would choose memory stick but because I want to start out with importing some video from tape I'm not going to do that. I'm going to click end on the camcorder screen bypassing that and now we're taken to a window that looks familiar to what we get on other pieces of video editing and capture software wherein it will allow us to import video from the tape and a setting here where we can import from the beginning of the tape or from the current tape position the tape mechanism of the camcorder is going to start playing and I'm also going to hear an echo of myself now because it's getting real-time audio being fed right from the camcorder so I'll let this import for a couple of seconds here just to get some different clips imported you can see it's importing and giving us a count of how many clips it has currently, in this case four. Now let's say I want to import some still images taken with this camera that are saved on the memory stick. You just click memory stick. It'll say USB connecting on the camcorder. And if you give it a little bit, it'll open up this import media files window where you could select the drive, save it in a new folder. There's also a couple different settings in here like don't import duplicates, delete the media files from the device, which I don't want to do. It's a little bit different than how Adobe Lightroom presents things, but in a way, quite similar and easy to understand. You have this main screen that you're taken to, which gives you a bird's eye glance calendar view of videos and photos. And over on the left side, it categorizes your photos and videos by date, in this case year. And if you drill down, it will give you the months. 
And now we could see that it's giving us a preview of different videos that I took on March 8th, photo I took on the 11th, and the 13th and the 20th. Now that I've drilled down into Wednesday, March 8th, which is when the video files were taken, you can see it indicates that these are HDV video clips. You can go ahead and play it, and it'll start giving us a preview. Something that's worth its weight in gold, at least for my particular usage scenario, is the built-in video trimming feature. It's very easy to losslessly trim and edit off sections of, for example, DV AVI video from imported uh, mini DV tapes or digital 8 tapes, but HDV footage is a different ball of wax and I have yet to find a piece of software that can actually losslessly edit the in and out points, trim the video clip without causing too much of a fuss and losing quality. Yet rather remarkably this software from Sony can do it right out of the box. So I could just go ahead, set that, and it's updating over here what the new duration will be and you can you can see the in point and the out point. You can also save a frame from the preview, which uh, I wasn't expecting to see that functionality. And then what I could do is save the edited video. It'll allow us to choose a file name. If I go into Windows Explorer, you can see the clips here, the original ones, and trim video clip. Notice how it's retained the .m2t MPEG2 transport stream HDV uh, file format. And look at that playing back just fine and the software was able to successfully trim the video with no problems whatsoever. I've yet to find an actual piece of dedicated software that can do this properly with HDV footage. And what's nice is it'll give you a quick glance of what the date was that the media was taken on and also organize it by hour in which case these photos were taken at 2100 and because these are pictures what you can do is print them and printing them from this program actually gives a couple of different settings obviously which printer paper size and paper type you could do zoom the image until the print area is full which it'll crop the image but you could also print the date that it was taken on it might not be too easy to see on the very minuscule preview but it adds the date and time to the lower right corner you can select multiple things so let's do a couple of video clips here and I'll do a still image, I'll do another one, another one, and then I can go up here to where it says DVD video creation. And this will arrange the files on the disk by the date taken if you give it a minute or two. So I can bird still images and video right to a DVD. So very basic software, you get this calendar view with all the pictures and videos that are taken on certain dates, very quick at a glance information of your media library. Also select different pictures and then go to manipulate, resize and save. And this is gonna do pretty much the same thing as the email feature that I tried using before. But this time it's gonna actually allow us to save those compressed versions of photos. But we now have pictures that have been re-surprised, re-surprised, resized, <laughs> much to my surprise, to uh, I guess 640 by 360 still retains all the different metadata and uh, yeah 44 kilobytes aside from resizing photos you can also batch change dates of photos and presumably video either the dates or change the date by specifying a time interval forward or backward so what I'll change this to 1999 you can see that it's updated now that those are going to be the new dates and I can also select the time and that updates it and now if I click OK it is and if I go into calendar view you can see that it's created now a new entry for 1999 <laughs> and there are our two photos supposedly taken at 1220 in 1999 last but certainly not least is this useful media file information window that can be called upon to show us different information in this case about the video files likewise i could go to any of the photos do the exact same thing and this gives us even more information the presence of a built-in video trimming tool for not just standard f dv video but high definition hdv video that allows us to trim video clips losslessly with no loss of quality very easy to do 
with standard F video for using programs like AVI DMUX, Scene Split, or even Virtual Dub. But when it comes to HDV MPEG-2 Transport Stream video, like I mentioned before, it's a totally different ball of wax, totally different ball game. And the fact that this program can do it so well and simply means that I am certainly going to keep this around just for that purpose, if nothing else. After filming your footage, you can view it, enjoy it, and share it with your family and friends. This is the Bundle Package Software Picture Motion Browser. This is a great software. You can organize your footage according to the date, cut out unnecessary shots, and even burn to a DVD.